Hello students. The next problem under the topic coordinate geometry is on locus of a point. So here the question is find the locus of the point which is equidistant from the two given points 2 comma 3 and minus 4 comma 1. So now what is locus of a point? If a curve can be defined by a geometrical property. So if we have a curve. So cu this is a curve. And if this can be defined by a geometrical property common to all points on it. So uh, that geometrical property will be common to all points on it. Then there will be an algebraic relationship which is satisfied by the coordinates of the points on the curve. So, these points will satisfy an algebraic relationship. Such an algebraic relationship is called the equation of the curve. And all the points whose coordinates satisfy this given algebraic equation lie on a curve. Now, this curve is called the locus of the given algebraic relation. Okay, so this is only known as the locus of a point. Now, here in this question, they are asking us to find the locus of the point which is equidistant from the two given points. So, now this is a point and its coordinates are unknown. So, we will take it as x, y and I am taking the point as p. And we have to find the locus of this point P. And it is given that this point is equidistant from the two given points here. So now this point is at a uh, is at equidistant from two given points. So if this point is 2 comma 3 and if this point is negative 4 comma 1, then this distance is equal to this distance this is what it is given now for example if i choose this point to be a and this point to be b it is given that the distance distance pa is equal to pb because this point is at equidistant from these two points so pa will be equal to pb now by using the distance formula what is pa now this coordinate is x comma y and this is 2 comma 3. So by using the distance formula now uh, p a will be square root of so x minus 2 the whole squared plus y minus 3 the whole squared and that is equal to square root of because p a is equal to p b. Now, what is the uh, distance, I mean, uh, by using the distance formula, what is PB? It is equal to square root of X minus of minus 4. So, it will become X plus 4, the whole squared, plus Y minus 1, the whole squared. So, by using the distance formula, we obtain this. Now, squaring on both the sides, what will happen is, um, these square roots gets vanished because when we square this and this. So, when the square root is squared, so it gets vanished and so we get x minus 2 the whole squared plus y minus 3 the whole squared to be equal to x plus 4 the whole squared plus y minus 1 the whole squared. Now, let us uh, simplify this equation. Now if you see in the left hand side this can be expanded by using the formula a minus b the whole squared and what is the formula it is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So using this formula upon this here x will be as a and 2 will be as b and it is a minus b the whole squared so it is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so that is the formula if it is a plus b the whole squared it is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared now here we have a minus b the whole squared and so the formula is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so let us apply that formula over here so this x minus 2 whole squared will become x squared minus 2ab so 
2 multiplied with a is x and b is 2 plus b squared. So what is b? It is 2. So it is 2 squared. Okay. Now this term is done. Similarly, we have to expand this by using a minus b, the whole squared formula. And so that will be y squared minus 2y multiplied with 3 plus 3 squared. And so that is equal to on the right, we have to expand using a plus b the whole squared formula, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then plus, now here this has to be expanded by using a minus b the whole squared formula. So it will be y squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And so what we obtain is, so from this we obtain that. Now simplifying this, like this can be written as x squared minus 2 multiplied by with 2 is 4. So minus 4x plus 2 squared is 4. And then plus, now here we have y squared minus 2 multiplied with 3 is 6. So minus 6y plus 3 squared is 9. So this is the left hand side and that is equal to on the right we have x squared plus 2 multiplied with 4 is 8. So 8x plus 4 squared is 16 plus y squared minus 2 multiplied with 1 is 2 only. So 2y plus 1 squared is 1. Now further simplifying this we can see that x squared on the left and x squared on the right gets cancelled and the y squared on the left and y squared on the right gets cancelled and what are the remaining terms minus 4x plus 4 minus 6y is equal to 8x plus 16 minus 2y plus 1. So, on the left we have minus 4x plus 4 minus 6y and this plus 9. I have left it. So, this plus 9 is equal to 8x plus 16 minus 2y plus 1. So, on the left, now this can be written as minus 4x minus 6y and this 4 plus 9 will be 13. So, that will be, so plus 13 is equal to 8x minus 2y and 16 plus 1 is 17. Now let's bring all the terms to the left so that we get it as an equation form. So minus 4x minus 6y plus 13 and this 8x when it comes to the left hand side it becomes minus 8x. This minus 2y when it comes to the left it becomes plus 2y and this 17 when it comes to the left it becomes negative 17 is equal to 0. Now after this we will gather the terms. Now here we have negative 4x and here we have negative 8x. So we have to add these two terms so that we get negative 12x. So negative 12x and here we have negative 6y plus 2y. So we have to subtract. So we get negative 4y and here we have 13 minus 17 so we get negative uh, because here we have plus 13 and here we have negative 17 we have to subtract so we get 4 negative 4 because the highest number sign is negative we have to subtract and then we have to write the negative sign here so this is negative 4 is equal to 0 changing the sign throughout we get 12x plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0 and then now we can divide this by 4 so it will become 3x because 12 divided by 4 is 3 so 3x plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 so y plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 so 1 is equal to 0 so this is the required locus of the point which is equidistant from the two given points so, hope you have understood this concept of finding the locus of a point. Thank you.